We're doing a rare uh, forest carnivore project and we're focusing on two of our sensitive species, the Canada lynx and the wolverine. And what we're trying to do is ask the fundamental question, do these species exist on the forest? We just want to see what's out there so we have a better idea of what this habitat's providing, you know, how we can better manage for that habitat, um, whether we can just see what, what extent they might be out there. So far we have very limited information. So we're, we're here on the Uinta Mountains um, on the North Slope. Right now we're in the Bear River drainage um, looking for rare forest carnivores. Um, these, these animals, lynx and wolverine, can be elusive. You can study them and follow them your whole life and never see one. So trail cameras are a really handy um, way to track them. And, but you still have to have some manpower to get the trail cameras out. So that's where all the volunteers have come in to help um, with putting these trail cameras out. But with these trail cameras, we can get a sense of which drainages are being used by which species, um, if we even have wolverine and lynx. So the, the bait station has mostly scent attractants. The attractants are attached to the tree that the camera's pointing out. At the top, we've got a tuna fish can that just nailed in, um, so it'll have the fish smell. Then right below it, we've got a carpet that will be soaked in a, in a scent cologne obsession. Um, and then a beef bone, and with the beef bone, it will be also coated with this, with a lure that's used by trappers called gusto. All those scents are kind of a combination. The tuna and the obsession is kind of more for the lynx, the feline attractants. The beef bone and the gusto is more for the wolverine. Um, so hopefully it could attract one or the other or both to these stations. And so wherever, wherever there's a gap in data that can help be filled by a a really great energetic group of willing folks who many of these people are going to be out here anyway on their weekends trail running backpacking hiking and um, right now there's just this void in data and so we hope we can help add data to that gap and, and help add to the understanding of how these really elusive carnivores are using this landscape and uh, to do that we harness the the outdoor skills and the passion and the energy of, uh, of outdoors people so on this project, we have uh, about 34 volunteers. You know, what's great about this project is just that, you know, we're able to cover such a large area because we have so many people who, you know, decide they want to volunteer some of their time to this. And, uh, you know, to get 30 cameras out across 100 miles of mountain front is just, is going to be great. And, and it's just a really great opportunity to get, uh, you know, members of the public involved in conservation on their public lands and out uh, recreating, but also contributing to this data set.